Hello, this is Ian Osfold. This is a work in progress video to show how far I'm getting uh, generating a web service from an open source optical character recognition algorithm. Uh, the motivation for the project is this OpenPlax website uh, here. Some people in the UK are collating all of the English Heritage blue plaques, that's these plaques here, and then they're manually typing in all of the historic information that's shown on the, the uh, plaques. Uh, to me, this is an eminently uh, computerizable task. So here's my progress. Here's one of the plaques that I photographed. It says, in this house lived Ralph Ellis, uh, 1885 to 1963 uh, and the result of running it through my little uh, test program is in this house lived Ralph Ellis um, and then some garbage correct date correct text uh, or insides uh, inside sorry rather than of um, and then down here West Sussex County Council in curved text um, that's mostly badly recognized it gets Sussex and County, which uh, is almost flat text, but West and Council it doesn't get at all. Uh, and if you look at the URL, you'll see up here that uh, the web server is running on localhost, which is running on my local MacBook here. There's only one argument to one uh, one URL, uh, so the uh, the function internally is do. The argument is URL, and I'm giving it uh, the link directly to the image on Flickr. So that's the URL for that image. Another example, this walkway was donated by Gene and Brian Crosley of Brockham. Uh, so this walkway was donated by Gene and Brian Crosley of Erocam. So it's confusing uh, an E for a B to celerate. So again, uh, a B is uh, turned into an E. Uh, and then there's some garbage around uh, here. It gets birthday, it gets December 27th. Um, I think it's the, uh, the white background here is causing the problem. Uh, it's a bit sheeny. So I'm using the Tesseract OCR uh, engine. This was developed by Hewlett Packard and then open sourced. Uh, it lives in Google Code. It takes about 15 minutes to get it compiled uh, and then it just runs as a command line call. Uh, and then the web server is written in bottle.py, which is a Python web framework. It's a micro framework. So it doesn't have uh, it doesn't have support for many many things, but it has just enough to get you going really quickly. Now I've never written a proper web service before, and last night I wrote this in an hour. So there's a little bit of stuff to import. Get URL. This function takes a URL, so that'll be the Flickr image URL. It collects the image, stores it internally, uses the Python imaging library to convert it to a TIFF file, which is required for the Tesseract engine. Uh, and then returns the uh, file name of the TIFF file. All the work happens here in do. Uh, so do is the uh, the one service uh, offered by this little website. Um, all it says is as long as there is uh, a URL supplied, then use the get URL function to get the name of the TIFF version of the image. Call Tesseract and then pipe the output uh, as one line of text as the return of the function so that comes back as text. Uh, and as I say this took me 40 minutes last night to write this little web service. Um, obviously I need to do some more work on the recognition that's not quite good enough. Uh, I think some image pre-processing might be required and probably some teaching on uh, the white text on a blue background uh, rather than using the built-in default recognition system uh, which will be trained on all sorts of text. Uh, but that's uh, that's not bad for a couple of hours effort.